going on, everybody? DK Go Ham hey, here. Welcome back to the channel. Five spills, baby. I'm the dude that Today we got 36 mods of testing, and we got five modders to talk about, including some exclusive screenshots of Ola Haldor's next map. Let's check it out. Starting off with our mods and testing, today we have 36 mods on the list. 30 of those are in stage one or PC testing, and six are in stage two or console testing. Some notable mods in PC testing include Newfinner Valley, Buckland Farm, and Lizard Golf Cart. Also in PC testing, we have Yard Scraper, Temporary Grazing Pastures, and Hunting Practice Target. Rounding out that PC testing list, we've got Ross Smash, Acros 595, HSK Series, Lizard Supercharger, and the MB Sprinter 3XAL. Jumping down to console mods and testing, we have a few that were mixed in the PC list, like the Metal Tech PP20 and the John Deere 5403 2003. But at the bottom in the normal spot, we have Karhuvara, John Deere 9RX Series 2015, Fallon Road Dairy Farming, and Close to Home, which we're going to talk about at the end of the video. With all that being said, we still have 131 mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time of newly submitted mods is still at 9 work days. Jumping over to modder news, and we start with someone that we haven't talked about in a few months, Washtastic Modding. They have released the changelog for their Kloss Dominator pack for all platforms, which will include a new model, the Median 310 with larger machines, actually planned for the future, that's pretty cool. They've got new color configurations, new settings for the spreader, tank flap, rear axle spacer and more rear markers ic panel for opening door light control radio things like that new rims that change according to the size of the wheels new lights model corrections and a new hydro stance sound and other improvements <laughs> watch tasek is trying to get the mod pack with giants for testing by the end of this week so they've still got a few days and then they'll be working on their header pack next week. Next up for today, however, we have 82 Studio, who released a new video showing off his upcoming Lawn Care Trailers pack. For their all-rounder trailer, aka number one, we're going to have three different models. We have the Bumper Pull, Bumper Pull Raised, and Gooseneck. There will also be a tip side box to hold up to 282,000 liters with the unrealistic capacity option, which, let's be honest, we're all going for. This box will tip to the ground or into cell points, and you can get rid of the grass that you collect that way. You can also use it for literally anything else, as the box can hold all bulk crops, so stones, wheat, lime, whatever you want to put in there. There will also be fuel tanks included with all the trailers to refill on the spot. And there will also be an enclosed option, which I know a lot of you guys are looking forward to. It'll have a couple of her liveries, one of which being the Lizard Lone Care. And they've added another setup without the box, more suited for carrying around multiple mowers. Did I mention there's also a full-length tipper option, too? <laughs> to see all these up close, check out 82 Studio on YouTube, link below. Next up for today, let's talk about what custom modding are up to right now. Today, they've shown off their Tangleman Strawmaster Pro 120 foot. This is actually the largest model in that lineup, and in real life, it is a Harrow. In the game, I would assume it's probably going to be a Mulcher, but we're going to have to wait and see about that. They also teased their John Deere 9R again, which I know some of you guys are dying to see. Don't worry, I am too. Right now, we have no other information on either one, but I will let you know when that changes. Wolfix Modding has finished up another mod today, the Schwarzmuller Center Axle Timber Stackian Trailer without platform. One heck of a name, and it will be for all platforms as well. This is the first time that we've actually seen this trailer, but at least from the screenshots that we get to see, it looks more of like a medium size, maybe perfect for Case Puma or something like that. Uh, I'm also not sure about the customization options, but their mods normally go through testing pretty quickly and have some pretty cool customization options. So probably won't be long before we see it in action. And lastly today, let's talk about Ola Haldor and their next map. It's called Close to Home, and you probably saw it on the testing list today in console testing. He recently showed it off during a live stream, and it's literally a map inside of a sandbox. The map border is the wood frame around the sandbox, and it really gives you the feeling that you're tiny, but that you're actually in control of the toys in the sandbox. It's unlike anything we've ever seen before, and because it's Ola Haldor, I'm Pretty sure it's going to be epic. Also, big thank you to Yoast Modding for reaching out for these screenshots. Without them, uh, these would not be as awesome to show you guys, and we'd have no information. So definitely check them out. Link below. You can also see the new video from Ola showing off the map, which I will also leave link below. Well, guys, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new. Join the GoHam fam. Double check those notification bells as well. That way, you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. With that, hope you have a great day. We will see you you later. Hey. Well, my tongue is feeling a lot better as you guys can probably hear, but now I got a toothache. I don't know what's wrong.